hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you another project in java so uh, the project is called student management system project in java so uh, there will be a three actor a three main actor of the application the first one will be the admin the second one will be the faculty and next is a student so admin can do uh, some kind of things like he can add a new student he can update the record of a student he can delete the student he can view the detail of the student similarly admin can uh, Add the attendance, delete the attendance, update the attendance, and view the attendance of the student. And the admin can do uh, add, uh, update, delete, view the fees of the student. He can check the fees detail of the student. He can uh, perform the crude operation in the fees module as well. And there is another module is a subject for the mark sheet generation, like uh, we are using the subject. So admin can add, delete, update uh, subjects for any student similarly there will be next actor of the application will be the faculty so faculty can add delete update the attendance of the student and faculty can access the subject also and faculty can generate the mark sheet for the student you can uh, provide the marks of to the student and similarly a student can view the attendance he can view the mark sheet he can view the fees and some common module is there for login and like login registration my profile chain password and all that so i'm going to show you the demo complete demo how project is going to execute and how it is built First of all, I'm going to talk about the technologies. So I'm using the technologies at JSP and Servlet, and uh, uh, as a backend, I'm using MySQL. The project is completely following the MVC architecture, the model view controller architecture, and to configure uh, to manage the APIs, I'm using the Maven tool. So the build tool is Maven here, and I'm going to run this project on Tomcat server so the configuration you can say it's using as a server tomcat as a technology it's using the jsp and servlets and um, as a backend it's using the mysql database as you know i'm always in every video and every project i'm using the mysql workbench so you can also use this so <coughs> first of all i'm going to log in as an admin so let me show you the very home page so this will be the home page that is some sections and uh, this is the heading of the project and you can set a home page and the login page so this will be your home page welcome to the student page you can remove this image you can change this image and you can change the content as well i'm not using that much content because of the some uh, like uh, if you want to add your college pick or something you can add here and uh, after the home page there is the login page so you can see the header of the login page and the footer so if you see the database there is a three role id one two three so i think one will be for the admin part and the second will be uh, two will be the student and the third will be the uh, for the faculty so first of all i'm going to log in as a as a admin so you can say the admin credential you have to enter the admin credential here and click on the log sign up you can see the administrator tape detail tape my account and logout so in the ad, under the administration you can some some modules there add subject add attendance add user and add fees similarly in detail you can say student detail attendance detail subject detail and result detail and fees detail if i want to show you one demo so i'm click on the add subject so i'm going to add subject name here so demo subject i'm going to just enter for the demo subject here and the demo description you can say demo description when i click on the save the data is saved successfully inside the table which is called subject table you can see the next subject is demo demo subject is there so next thing administrator can do he can add the attendance so I'm click on the uh, subject for which subject is going to add attendance so demo subject and select the student there is there is only one student in the database right now so it's showing the record like Roy Pawar is a student and the date for which date it's using the attendance so I'm gonna show I'm gonna I'm gonna write the today's date and so 23 March zero twenty three zero three two thousand nineteen and lecture title uh, you can say the demo lecture title status present or absent so i'm going to present and it's done the one is saved successfully 
and the next you can add a user so if you want to admin want to add a user as admin faculty or as a student so for example i'm going to a student uh, i'm going to add as a student so you can add as a faculty also he can add as a admin also so i'm going to add as a student so i'm going to fill some dummy data here and we always need to enter our proper gmail id password will be you can say one two three one two three and the school name and the course and the valid phone number and, and date of birth again so zero eight, zero eight, two. And here will be the address. So I'm gonna enter some dummy address only here. Okay, email address I have to add here. So I'm gonna copy this same email address. So, uh, so record is inserted in the user table. You can see the user table again. Let me check the user table. You can see the new record, new entries is here similarly admin can add a fees structure as well like for fees for which student they need to select the student first then the month for which month is going to pay and date and all the things then the attendance table will contain the record of attendance <coughs> and in the detail section you can check the student detail like there is only one student is right now so he can add the, uh, he can uh, check the student detail and if you want to attendance detail you want to check the attendance detail you can check the attendance detail as well for the which lecture so recently we added a lecture attendance for this lecture and uh, the result detail so the result detail you can edit the result as well and the next the fees detail in the my profile account you can check the profile you can change the data from here as well the change the password you can change the password and now I'm going to log in this and I'm going to log in with a faculty account. So the faculty will be I think this will be your faculty the third record. They're already three. When I click on the uh, <coughs> login logged in as a faculty, so a faculty can add a subject. Similarly, he can add attendance for a student. He can add a mark sheet as well. Uh, for the mark sheet, you need to select the username, enter the roll number of the particular user, and other things. And if you want to check the attendance detail, he can check the attendance of any user. He can check the subject details, and even he can perform the edit and delete operation as well. And the result detail and the student detail similarly you can perform the my account and change and all that things just click on log out and just logged in as a user so i'm gonna log in as a user now so, user. when i click as a user when i log in as a user I need to enter uh, there is a uh, some options like get mark sheet detail and that the detail gets a subject detail so you can check the subject detail even you can search the detail uh, by the name like uh, subject name or I think yes it's working and the my attendance as well he can search the attendance by the name and the fees detail he will submit whenever he submit the detail and all the things and the button is disabled now once it reads the record i think 10 and then it, the button will be enabled to next side for the next one and uh, okay how to generate the mark sheet uh, how the student will going to generate the mark sheet you need to enter some rule numbers so rule number he will get from the student mark sheet and everything. yeah that is the rule number when a user uh, or cust uh, sorry a student going to enter the number roll number he will get get the mark sheet 
right according to the marks according to the marks which will added by uh, faculty or admin they will decide the grades so uh, this is the uh, complete flow of the project and complete part of the project there is a lots of functionalities in this project like you can check the edit update deletes uh, for every user uh, you admin can perform the different operations and the user a uh, student can perform the different operation a faculty can perform the different operation according to the uh, access they can access only uh, things which uh, they have access and um, if I talk about the if I talk about the documents, you can see uh, the documents is available for the complete project. You can say synopsis, and uh, there is some diagram which will help you to understand the uh, application, which is called the data flow diagram for the admin. There is a separate uh, data flow diagram for the admin and data flow diagram for the faculty and data flow diagram for the student this is separate ER diagram is also there for the project you can see the complete ER diagram here and uh, the very next uh, the database table we are using here is some screenshots in the in the, in the synopsis and uh, the configuration detail which is the minimum and maximum configuration required software and hardware you need to configure this project at your machine and uh, some technologies what kind of technologies I'm going to use in this project and some basic things like what kind of testing we are going to perform and all this, some some sorts of a screenshot sorry uh, some short of source code and the project screenshot i think also available so thank you so much for watching if you like the video and if anybody need the source code you can check the description link uh, link in the description box you will find the link from the code one so uh, for the code one you can check the link here you can check the price and all the details of the description and there is a, a contact detail on the page you can say if you need a source code you can contact on this contact id you can send me a skype uh, skype message on the id is j code one you can send me a proper mail so uh, the id will be j code one at the gmail.com so uh, within one hour or uh, as soon as possible i will uh, try to respond to you uh, respond you uh, if you're gonna send me a, a message on Skype I will uh, instantly re uh, reply you and sometime I miss the um, email so please try to send me a mail or the Skype so thank you so much for watching and if you like the video you can share with your students uh, with your uh, friends so they also can use the video and it's not a single video in the code one and the very cheap price i'm going to provide the uh, projects for the learning purpose to student so you can check the list from here you can just go in the code one.com and select the project section and the project section you can find the lots of project like a student management system the online voting system the, sorry it's called the online job portal system library management employment payroll management system employee management system and the online quiz system host gym management system online book storage project and online examination project uh, like um, simple photo co photo competition project in java and you can see the timetable management hotel management and then lots of projects are there so if you need please contact in the description detail thank you